My name is Leroy Chapman and this is Public Secrets. Hello? You're doing it wrong. <laughs> We're here at 91st and Harvard at the Calvary Cemetery. We're going to be going back into um, an era, a section that isn't part of the official cemetery. That is a Creek Freedman burial ground that's been developed over. And today our guest is Kevin Ross. He's a local Tulsa journalist and he is a Freedman descendant. And uh, he discovered this area and um, has done all the research on it. Uh, we've had a state archeologist come out and do GPS pinpointing. Um, we know that this is an actual Creek burial ground, right? Paved over. We're actually on a, on a trail here. You can see tracks. Uh, some kind of service yeah. road between the, the cemeteries, because basically this area is nothing but a, a big neighborhood of cemeteries. You got about three cemeteries. You got the Calvary Cemetery. You got the Booker T. Washington Cemetery, which is now Rolling Oak Cemetery. Right, which is right over yes. here. When you come back through here, this is what you start to see. This right here is a headstone. Yeah, this right here. That's knocked over. Yeah. And, and, and this is one that was found by members of the Center for Racial Justice. And actually, this has been moved since they discovered it because this piece right here and this piece right here were all together. Connected. They were all connected. And even now, I'm seeing pieces, you know, like right there. That wasn't like that as, as well. So there have been people up here messing with it. You can see how it's like, you know, they've created like three-wheeler trails through here and this would launch me to 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 do a full investigation and now you see the other markers they start appearing and 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 I remember one day when I came out here and I was taking close up shots uh, of the markers and that were out here at that time and 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 I, and I realized I said oh my gosh I'm just surrounded cuz I mean this whole area that they cleared off there were much more of those markers here they were planted like rolls of corn along this path, and a lot of them are missing. Some of the headstones I know are missing. This development is called the Villages at Ashton Creek. Oh, they've got a fence up now. Just on the other side, there's a retention pond. You can see the, the, uh, the pipes coming through where the water comes in. And when I first came out here after Calvin told me about it, there was uh, cement, uh, chunks of cement that were ground level as if uh, a bulldozer had just taken the headstones right off and you could see them in order and there was also the small metal plaques that they'll place on graves marking the grave before the headstone gets there there was old ones that were scattered about that field as well people when they came to look on their dead or bury their dead they came along this road there is no to date there is no road connecting this cemetery with the other cemetery and what's Illegal is not being able to have this area accessible. Now with a gated community, you know, there's no way you can get in here unless you go through the service road of uh, where we just passed through the Cavalry Cemetery. And, uh, and the gated community, they, you know, they really don't want nobody up here. You know, so. And you can see the proximity of the gated community right here. We're about maybe uh, 50 yards. Out here we have military graves, Native American uh, freedmen graves, and African American graves. Yeah. So this is other burial furniture. Yeah. There's a, a old plastic flower there. Looks like there's two more markers back you there. You see markers the all through. Uh, it looks like if this is the tip of a. Yeah, a tip of a much larger like that you'll see like an oak lawn. This guy actually lived on Greenwood. It's one of the one of two military graves that are out here. This guy's name is Elijah Tobias, private in the Arkansas Infantry. LaFortune? Yes. Came out here? Yeah, Bob LaFortune was out here. The city has known about this for yeah, almost this. a decade now. Yeah. And, uh, and it's still in disarray the, and there's still development going on out here. State officials, city officials, the mayors, they all been out here. They all walked on these same buried grounds. And I, I started to want to believe that who developed this land, who was involved, pushed the political powers away because what they were doing at the time, we got them documented on film, is that the developer did remove, move, disturb burial furniture and possibly bodies. And, which and, 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 Which, yeah, and nothing was done. It was quiet until the, uh, uh, the state and the city really claims this area and do a full investigation. This issue is, is not gonna be at rest. 
who's to say that in time that this won't look like that over there? Because somebody cared over here. Nobody cared over there.